everybody, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 14. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 14. Okay, so this is question 14 and this question is testing us on percentage and the model, okay? So let's read the question first. Lena wanted to buy a bag. She saw a red bag on sale at 15% discount and a blue bag at 20% discount. Both bags had the same original price before the discounts. To buy the red bag, Lena would need $2.50 more than what she had. So Lena bought the blue bag. After that, she had $2 left. Okay. After Lena bought the blue bag, she still had $2 left. So part A, what was the original price of the red bag? Okay, so now that we read the question, we should highlight the key information. So let's highlight it. So she saw a red bag on sale, which is 15% discount, and a blue bag, which is 20% discount. So both bags had the same original price before the discounts, okay? So that is the original price. To buy the red bag, Lena would need $2.50 more than what she had. So basically, she, she has a shortage of $2.50 to buy the red bag. So she needs $2.50 more. So Lena bought the blue bag because she didn't have enough money to buy the red bag. She bought the blue bag. If she had enough money, she would have bought the red bag. So after that, she had $2 left. So she had $2 to spare. That means that she has an excess of $2. Okay, they are asking us what is the original price of the red bag. Okay, so this is the question that we have highlighted, the key information. So I hope you understand why I have highlighted. Okay, now we move on to drawing the model. So this is the model over here. And over here, for the red bag, it's a 15% discount. Okay, and then for the... And then for the blue bag, this is a 20% discount. It starts from over here, okay? Do know that. Sometimes you cannot see properly. Okay. Okay, so that's a 15% discount. So the red bag, she need to pay 85%. But then for the blue bag, there was a 20% discount. So she only need to pay 80%. Okay. So... After she paid 80% right, this is 80% right, she still had $2 left. That means right, her, her money at the start is basically 80% plus $2. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So now, um, for red right, so that's 15% discount, but she had to pay 85%. But she did not have enough money to pay 85% because she was a shortage of $2.50. Okay, now we can find the dis the difference of 20% and 15% first. So what is that give us? 5% right? So 20% minus 15% is 5% right? Okay, now I hope you can see something. See this $2 is supposed to be here as well. Okay, so basically 5% it is $2 plus $2.50, okay? So this two dollars is supposed to be here as well. So five percent is two dollars plus two dollars fifty cent, which is four dollars fifty cent. So remember, don't write equals. You must write refers to arrow mark. Okay. So five percent refers to four dollars and fifty cent. So we find one percent, which is four dollars fifty cent divided by five, which will give us ninety cent. Or you can write as dollars zero point nine zero. Okay. So now. Um, now we need to find the original price of the red bag. The original price of the red bag is equal to the blue bag. So the original price is basically the price without the discount, right? So for the red bag, there was a 15% discount. Without the discount, it's just 100%. Both of them is just 100%. So basically, we need to find 100%. So we take 100%, right? So we take 90 cents times 100 which will give us $90 okay so this is the answer for part A so I hope you understand my explanation for part A now let's move on to part B so this is part B over here so let's read the question first how much money did Lena have at first yes 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 we know this right how much money did Lena have at first we did this at the start right I told you right 
the the amount she had is basically 80 percent plus two dollars right wow this part is easier now wait we already know one percent is 90 cents so isn't it easier to find 80 80 percent already okay that's really good so money at first is basically 80 percent plus two dollars so after that the next one is one percent so we know that one percent is 90 cents right so we can basically take 90 cents times 80 okay because 80 percent is equal to 90 cents times 80 right so it will give us 72 dollars wow 80 percent is 72 dollars now it's really easy right because we know that the money at first is 80 percent plus two dollars and if you know that 80 percent is 72 dollars we basically take 72 plus two dollars right so 72 plus two dollars it is 74 dollars so 74 dollars is the answer for part b okay so i hope you understand my explanation for this question part a and b and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye